Hello and good afternoon. I'm Rachel from Trader's Hill Farm and we're here at the Blueberry Ranch with Josh and Jamie. So guys, can you tell us a little bit more about your farm, what you have going on, what's in season? Well, we're uh, located here in Yulee, Florida, off of uh, US 17, uh, roughly off of I-95 uh, on the Florida Georgia line. Um, we have seven different varietals of rabbit eye species here, uh, five early season varietals, two mid-season varietals. Uh, kind of has a, a season that goes on about uh, give or take June the 1st to about mid-July. Um, we have a U-Pick operation, so uh, it's all, you know, the community's involvement is what it takes uh, mostly. So uh, they get out here, they have a good time, pick, uh, kind of let the kids have at it. And um, other than that... Uh, Okay, so can you guys tell me what's uh, what are your seasons? So I know you have blueberries, you've got honey, you've got chickens. Uh, most, you've got something going on this Saturday too, don't you? Mostly uh, a summer harvest. So uh, it being July now, uh, we have a couple of varietals that we're still picking on. Uh, the um, pretty much the rabbit eye species, but we the varietals that we're picking on are uh, Brightwell and Powder Blues. Uh, that, that's kind of what we have left. Uh, not. A, enough volume for people to come out and pick but we're still open on on the remaining Saturdays to sell the leftover product that we have uh, along with jellies jams um, we have some honey uh, fresh eggs and uh, seasonal vegetables so uh, we can go take a look at that if you want to go take a look at that yeah that's okay. great. so this is our uh, our chicken coop also known as the compost builder um, Jamie <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's our expert uh, chicken lady here. Crazy chicken lady. But uh, what we do here is a, a deep litter compost. Uh, so we take uh, fresh wood chips uh, and layer in here uh, either weekly or bi-weekly, kind of depending on moisture level. Um, what it does, uh, you know, they keep it turned as you can see. Um, fills our compost for... Um, spring and fall uh, but mostly most of the time what we do is kind of layer it up in here um, all season long um, keeps it nice and fresh for their uh, their feet so they can uh, go in and out the nest boxes and uh, keep everything clean not, not tracking any you know feces or anything dirty into the nest boxes and um, then it also keeps them warm during the winter time <laughs> Have so, his pink <laughs> during the winter time, uh, since it's composting, you know, all that rising heat, you know, keeps them warm. And come springtime, we'll strip all this out. We usually it's a 12 by 12 structure, uh, so we'll get 12 by 12 by about two feet of compost uh, that we'll end up taking out of here and just kind of starting all over. Again. That's our uh, our base layer for all of our uh, vegetable production. Great compost, love it. <laughs> So this guy right here is actually a swarm that we caught uh, a couple days ago, and I'm actually not seeing a lot of activity coming in and out of there, so I'm starting to wonder if they left again. Yeah. Hmm. They're going to clean the land, and they'll all surround her in the whatever bush, tree, whatever they land in. Oh my god. Queen that just hatched out. And, uh, she's trying to get settled in, and it seemed like she got settled in. But she left again. Well, they're less likely to sing right now because they're so confused and disoriented with what's going on. They're just they're trying full, to find their home. And they're full of honey. Yeah. Are you getting this? Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is cool. It's so cool. They're good. Yeah. And now they're all on the ground. Oh, cute. Is that the box you put lemongrass in? Yeah, I think. I'll have to try that again. They're going back to where they were. All right. She didn't. Uh, she didn't fall. Either she didn't come off, or her scent, her pheromones are still on the the bush, and they're just all balling back up.
Sealed count five. Mm -hmm. He's on that other corner. Yeah, just don't squish him. There you go. Wow. That's probably about all I'm going to do today. Let <laughs> you kind of look down in there. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, but they're pulling out. They're pulling out brood uh, and wax comb and most of these. These are. This is a nuke that's just been broken. So you won't, this is a new starter hive compared to the, the larger frame hives. Uh, there's more honey in these supers here. That's what they call supers. That's where most of your honey storage is. This is just trying to build actual bees. Uh, so we can have more eggs, more bees, stronger colony. Yeah, we'll try to. Uh, <laughs>